Yo, I'm back, guys. This is my week three footage, the first two workouts. I started with OHP, and I only got two of my top sets on film here. The gym was packed, so my footage is going to be a little bit bland. But this was my top set right here. Uh, it was 170. Uh, the reps were one plus, so I needed at least one. And you'll see here that I got four. Also, you'll notice that I probably had one more rep in the tank after this rep right here. Probably could have got one more if I fought for it, but this is where training smart comes into play. When you have as much volume on a program, such as the Born the Big, um, you just cannot push RPE tens every day, or on any program for that matter, you really shouldn't. So you should always leave about one to two reps in the tank on your top sets here. And you know, after right after you do this top set on every day, you got to do five sets of ten with anywhere from fifty to seventy percent. And it, it gets crazy. You know, I also have my assistance, which I'm showing a little bit of right here with my pull downs. Uh, I'm increasing that in a DUP fashion, which is daily undulating periodization. So I'm increasing total volume over time very slowly. So the, the sets and reps and the weight will come. Okay, you have to let it come to you. You can't just push balls hard every day in the gym. This is where I learned over time, I learned from failure. And I learned from previous coaches and just reading numerous books and looking at actual science. So take my word for it, you know, train hard, but always leave the gym feeling like you could have done just a little bit more, even if that goes against everything you've been told. So I had a lot of my friends in the gym with me this workout. You guys are going to see uh, Warren here, his girlfriend Tori, my brother Luke, and his girlfriend Holly in this footage, and then I will be back to voice over my day two. Feeling kind of sick to my stomach. It's just a gimmick, but the kids seem to love it. And if you're patient, you can witness the sellout. I'm not a killer, but Holly was gonna drown. So on with my day two this week, which was deadlifts. Um, keep in mind, I am new to the sumo deadlifts. I pulled conventional my entire life, and I just made this switch about a month ago. So um, although that being uh, my excuse, this was a really bad day all in all for deadlifts. The bar just felt heavy. Um, I worked up, I think my uh, sets, I warmed up in that first set you saw. Uh, this is one of my work sets where I hit five. I think I had around uh, 250 or 60, somewhere around there. So, you know, with the lighter weights, I'm, I feel like my, my deadlift is fine with this stance. Um, next, I moved up to about two, I think it was around 280. And this one also felt fine. Um, I 
I mean, I still felt like I was a little weak, of course, but the bar was uh, moving pretty quick and it didn't feel like it was agitating anything. If anything, I feel like my hips are starting to tighten up uh, throughout the sets. So this is my top set. This is 315. This was my one plus. And uh, you'll see that I got six with this set. And so I'm about midway and slowing down. Uh, this is where I started feeling pretty weak in my hip area. Um, this last rep coming up, I think I may have just sprained or maybe even dislocated my finger on my left hand. You'll see when I come down, the bar kind of slips out and it hits my finger on the inside of the knuckles. So keep an eye on my left hand. Um, hurt like hell. And it definitely affected the rest of my workout, but I'm good. And then we'll, right there, and we'll take another look at it in slow-mo. Watch my left hand with the bar. Right there is where it clips me on the inside of the knuckle. So, felt weird the rest of my workout. Um, I had to take a few minutes. It was, uh, it was burning. Weird shit. Um, but all in all, I'm good. Um, so this is my boring but big set. Uh, it was five sets of ten. I uh, don't remember the weight. Uh, maybe I'll put a post down in there. I'll look at my program before I'm done editing this video. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to go in and bench tomorrow and then squat the next day after that, and I'll have footage. So uh, thanks for swinging by, guys, and uh, if anyone's following me, I hope you're picking up some stuff.